See, look, this is my duct tape collection. I made this special basket just for it. And what tool did I use? Only the most popular tool that ever existed. The circular saw to make beveled edges and even to make this little smart little handle and other things. You're going to love your circular saw. If you already have one, I'm going to show you stuff you probably didn't even know it does. It's going to be really good. Okay, so I'll put this baby aside for a second. And we'll just go over the anatomy of a circular saw. So this one is a, a corded model. This is a, a really nice saw. It's called a worm drive saw because the engine runs like, or the motor rather, runs. You know what? Engines are with gas. Motors are electric. So get this, know the difference. Okay. So anyway, the worm drive saw has this kind of a gear. So it's longer and narrower. And this thing's called a sidewinder or something like that. But the motor's over here and it's a little bit different shape. So this has no cord, but they basically do the same thing. Now, that, including fall over and make loud sounds. So here's what's really fun about these things. The sole plate actually changes. See, that changes the angle that you're cutting the wood on. So if you're cutting a board like this, and you want to get a nice beveled edge on it so that you can put together a little um, basket with beveled edges, then that's what you use that for. Then you always have to, of course, remember to bring it back to zero again so that you don't end up with a wacky uh, cutting style. Everything's out of square. I don't know if your circular saw came with a ripping guide. These are really cool. They thread through the sole plate. They've got their own little spot. And then you screw them down. It rides along the edge of the board for you. It's just really neat. Look, it goes like this. And so you can cut a whole bunch of boards to a certain um, width. Rip them, really, is what it's called. So that's a really cool thing to have if you've got a ripping guide. And if you don't have a ripping guide, you can often order one. When you're making an adjustment, by the way, you should probably take the battery off just in case your finger hits the trigger. And this is the other thing the sole plate does. So it, it has these two directions in which it moves. So what that does is it change the depth, changes the depth of the blade. See, look. Now you can see the blade. So I can have the sole plate down there so I get a really shallow cut, or I can make it a really deep cut by pushing it all the way up. Isn't that fun to know about? If you're ripping wood, you want a really, if you want a really little narrow piece, it's good to use the ripping guide. But if you're ripping sheet material, like plywood or um, melamine or whatever, you get to do something really tricky, which is adjust the blade to exactly the thickness of the material that you're working with. And this is like having your own table saw. If you don't have a table saw yet, you can fake it with a circular saw by clamping a, a piece of wood to the sheet material and then just running the edge of the sole plate along like this. It gives you a really, really, really straight cut. Now, I slid this white piece on underneath because normally I don't. I just hot dog. I get the blade adjusted just perfectly, and I'll cut something like right on a nice table and everything. But if you're just a little bit off, you end up with big score marks. That's not so good. Well, you might not mind, but your relatives might mind. And you know, they have a way of expressing themselves that's just a little annoying. So anyway, I'm going to clamp this down and then just run it through so you get to see how easy and fun this is. Wear ear protection because it will help you concentrate. If it's so loud that it just, just jars your nerves, it's not good. You can't concentrate. So it's good to have these on. And of course, eye protection because the sawdust does fly around. And that's it. And look how fun this is. I forgot to tell you something. When you're cutting a medium density fiber board, that's this stuff I was cutting, it throws up a lot of dust and it's got a lot of formaldehyde in it and resins and stuff like that. And they make your sinuses weep openly. So it's probably just good to just have two Kleenexes and just, just do a permanent installation. Okay, well, it's a look. Uh, or you can actually get the dust mask. This stuff is really important to have on hand when you're cutting uh, stuff with, like particle board. So look, look for the ones that have the 
foam little filter thing here and a little breathing filter here, uh, they're better than just, you know, like those ones that, that are just like a thin piece of paper, like what good is that? Okay, so one quick review. Check out these features. So there's the thing that makes the sole plate go up and down, okay? And then there's the bevel, which makes the sole plate tilt. <laughs> and then, of course, there's a ripping guide if you happen to have one or you can always buy one to go with your saw. And no matter what kind of circular saw you have, you, you have endless possibilities. You can cut, you can, you can cut, and, and you can cut. So there's a lot of cutting in your future if you own a circular saw. So get one, okay? Ow! Oh.